Hello and welcome to another video on Inkscape. In today's video we're going to be looking at envelope deformation and how we can use that combined with some other techniques to create images like this. Stay tuned and we get straight into it. So to get started I'm just going to get rid of the page border. If we come up to the top here we can use a little shortcut button to get to our um, document properties. So we click on this, come down, unclick the show page border, we can get rid of that then. So now we've got a nice clean background to work on. I'm going to import, so up to file, down to import, and I'm just going to import the image that I'm using. I've just downloaded this from Pixabay, so if you want to use the same image I'll leave a link in the description below. So we can just OK to all the settings, and we have our image to work with. So the first thing I want to do is sort this image out so it's a little bit easier to work with. So I'm just going to ungroup it all. I'll click off. I'm going to select the squirts of water out the top. I'm going to group those together. I'm going to... Oh, the face is already grouped. I'm going to open up our object dialog box. And for the time being, I'm just going to keep these all locked. I'm going to leave it all on one layer, but I'm just going to lock these elements so that I can't accidentally move them. So the next thing I want to do is create some writing. So I'm going to come over to our text tool and I'm just going to write out with cap lock on, I'm going to write out whale. We can get the selection tool. We can bring this over and now I can just stretch it to fit the whale a little bit better. Actually, what I'm going to do first is convert this to a path. I'm going to separate off the E. I think I'll work on the E later on because I'm going to shrink that down, and make it a little bit smaller. So I'm going to come up to path. I'm going to go object to path. So now we're working with an object. I'm going to ungroup them because when you convert it to an object, text to an object, it um, does them individually and groups them. So now we've got them ungrouped. I'm just going to hold down shift. I'm going to select WHAL and then I'm going to come up to path down to union and union them together so they're one path. So we can move the E out of the way for the minute. I'm going to turn off snapping because it's making me jump about a bit. I'm going to get my nodes tool I'm going to just do a little bit of adjustment. So I'm going to take these two nodes here and I'm just going to drag them down. And we take that node underneath and we just delete that. And I'm going to bring this node down a touch as well. So I think that'll do me for starters. So the next thing I want to do is use the envelope deformation tool to adjust these letters to fit our whale shape a lot better. So I'm going to come up to path. I'm going to come down to path effect. And this brings up our path effects dialog box. So with our writing enabled, if we go down to the little plus symbol at the bottom, click on that and we get a choice of different uh, path effects that we can use. We want envelope deformation. So we're going to click on that one. And in here we've got a few different options. So we've got enable top and bottom path. We've got enable left and right paths. So these just um, dictate whether or not we can use those and adjust those paths. So when they're talking about paths, they're talking about the bounding box path. I'm just going to leave them both ticked. You can untick them if, if you don't want to use left and right or top and bottom, but I'll leave them enabled anyway. So underneath those, we've got the four paths that we can edit uh, individually. So we can either use the first button, which allows us to edit on canvas. So this allows us to just work with each path individually, same way as we would with a normal path. We can add nodes, we can um, use handles, and it's exactly the same as a normal path. We've also got copy and paste paths, and we also have at the end link to path in clipboard. So to use this, what you do is use your Bezier tool, draw a line along the path that you want to mimic, um, right click on it, Press copy and then you can click on this and it will deform the top of your writing to the shape of that path. I find edit on canvas a lot better to work with. You can see exactly what's happening, how it's affecting your writing. So my advice is stick with edit on canvas and that's what we're going to be using. So I'm going to get started with the top of our letters. To try and keep them as nice and smooth and neat as possible, um, it's better to try and minimise how much work you do with these lines. You do too much, it starts to deform the shape of your letters so if we can try and keep it so i think i'm just going to add a node there try and like i say try and minimize how much work you do with these these paths so we don't get too much deformation of of the shape of your letters i'm now going to swap to the bottom path and i'm just going to adjust that so we drag that down exactly the same i'm going to overlap it on the whale and then i'm going to use the whale to um, chop the ends off so i think that doesn't look too bad so what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up to path. 
and I'm going to do object to path. So now when we re-click on it, you can see that I've got all the nodes available to work with individually. So we can come in. What I'm going to do is take that one out, I think. So I'm just going to go through and tidy these up a little bit and I'll get back to you in a second. If you wanted to get rid of a handle, you can just put your cursor over it, hold down control, click on it, and that'll take it back into the node that you're working with. You'll quite often end up with an excess of nodes that you can just delete. Makes it easier to work with the letters if you've got less nodes. You can also drag boxes over multiple nodes so that you can move them together. So now I've got these letters where I want them, I can fit my E in. So get my selection tool. I might rotate it slightly so it fits in better. So I'm going to adjust these again, I think slightly. So I'm just going to drag over these ones and I'm just going to move them over a touch to make a little bit more space for the E. Now if we go back to the E, rotate it around a bit. I'm then going to come in to my path effects tool, add a path effect. We use the envelope deformation again, and then I'm going to use the left path so I can bring that over. I'm going to drag that corner down a touch. I don't actually think that looks too bad, so I want to stick with that. Actually, what I'm going to do actually is right path. Just drag that center out, bring that middle of my E out a bit. So now I'm just going to go in and adjust some of these, these individual nodes. So I'm going to come up. We're going to get hold of it. We're going to come up to path. We're going to go object to path. So when I come back in, I've got my individual nodes. And then we can just do some fine adjustment. So I'll zoom in a bit so I can see what I'm doing. So again, we've got quite a few nodes in here, so we can just go through and delete nodes that we don't want. Um, that looks like another node too many for my liking. And now I'm to control and click some of these to get, get rid of the handles. So the next thing I want to do is I want to add just a block over the top of this just to so we can cut that tail out as well. So object sorry path object path. We're going to union all these together now. So I'm going to get my selection tool. I'm going to zoom out a bit so I can see what I'm doing. I'm going to select all the different elements. I'm going to go up to path, down to union, union them all together so they're solid now. So I'm going to come up to objects. I want my whale path. I'm going to press Control D to duplicate it. We're going to unlock it. I'm then going to hold down Shift, select our writing, and then I'm just going to come up to path and down to intersection. Now we can see our writings looking a lot better, but we do need to do a little bit of work just to clean up some of these elements. So I'm just going to sit here, adjust some of these bits. I say if we do drag it off the side again, we can always uh, reduplicate the whale shape and trim it up again. So I'm just going to spend a little bit of time evening up some of these gaps with my nodes tool.
So now I've added in a bit of a mouth shape. Um, I've overlapped the edges again. So what I'm going to do is just come in. I'm going to select our path, our whale shaped path. I'm just going to press Control D to duplicate again. I'm then going to hold down Shift. Let me get my selection tool. I'm going to select the writing underneath. And then once again, I'm going to come up to path down to intersection to clean it up a little bit. Um, but I just want to clean up this little tail area here. So if we, I'm just going to get this node. I'm going to smooth it. That's looking fairly good. I think that's pretty good. One last thing that I want to do is I want to cut an eyeball into here. So all I'm going to do for that is I'm going to grab the circle tool, the ellipse tool, and I hold down the constra control to constrain it to a circle. I can't actually see what I'm doing. So we change it to red so we can see what it's doing. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger. So I hold down control again. We drag it out. I'm going to move the eye slightly, I think. I'm going to select the writing, hold down shift, select the eyeball, and then I'm going to go back up to path and down to difference. I'm going to hide the whale path and the face, and I think that looks better. I'm going to select the writing, and I'm going to give it a bit more of a whale colour. And I'm going to hold down shift and give it a black stroke. Just going to get the ellipse tool. I'm going to hold down shift and control and drag out an eyeball. I'm going to turn this black. I'm going to hold down control to constrain the proportions. I'm going to shift it slightly. And I think I quite like that. So zoom back out a little bit. So that's looking fairly respectable. I'm going to select the splashes. I'm going to hold down shift. I'm going to give those a stroke. That looks better. I might actually just move that up a touch. I think I'm going to give that a deeper blue if we come into the fill and stroke get the fill what i'm going to do is i'm going to give it a radial gradient i'm going to get my gradients tool just so we can give it a little bit of a highlight and i'm just going to lighten that slightly so i think that looks quite nice but what i'm going to do is just add a bit of a background so we just add a light blue background so i'm just going to grab my rectangle tool so i want the opacity to be right up on the outside stop and we can adjust the stop colors and bring the color up something like that and then the center stop i'm just gonna brighten up i want it to be a nice sea blue one thing i'm not overly keen on is the corners here are a little bit too sharp for my life and with the mouth it's a little bit heavy-handed so i'm going to just smooth these off a little bit so i'm going to come up get my nodes tool we click on here i'm going to turn that to a smooth node I'm going to do the same with this one. This node, I'm just going to move down a touch. Too many nodes, so I'll delete one. I'm going to drag this one down. Just going to make that a smooth node. Also that one. Change this so I can... I'm going to go into stroke style as well, and I'm going to round the joints, make it a little softer. Now if we zoom out, I'm just going to add in and get my Bezier tool and I'm just going to add in a little line here so we're going to change change the size of that to 75 actually I'll make it one just going to zoom in so I can see what I'm doing I want rounded caps I'm going to get my nodes tool and I'm just going to curve that Let's zoom out again and see what we think. So I'm quite happy with that. I'll get the selection tool. We come down. And there we have our whale writing. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.